everybody and welcome to my in-home cigar lounge. What I wanted to do in this video was show you my interim solution to be able to smoke in the house uh, without smoke odors, cigar odors and smoke going throughout the rest of the house. So a little bit of background. Last year during the winter I wanted to keep smoking cigars but out on the deck just wasn't cutting it and then even in the garage wasn't cutting it. I put space heaters on me in the garage and stuff like that and it, just, it didn't help. It just made it just ruin the experience. I asked my wife if I can use this upper back room in the corner of the house and turn it to a cigar lounge and she was cool with it. So I got her okay, so we're all happy. At first, what I was doing was just, I'd shut the door, I'd open the windows, crack them open a little bit. I got a little tiny fan that I'd set up there to try to pull the smoke out. You know, that helped, it worked, but you could still smell just a little bit of um, smoke smell in the living room down below she said i said well that's not good enough i don't want to i don't want any cigar or smoke smell going anywhere except in this room my wife and i we like the smell of cigars not necessarily smoke but we do like the smell of cigars i even have a tobacco scented candles but just closing the door and opening the windows with a little fan worked okay but let me show you all the other stuff I do because now you really can't smell anything outside of this room with these things that I do. Uh, these things I'm doing now are just temporary solution. Let me show you. First thing I got going on is here at the door, actually a weather stripping going across the top, the side, well both sides. And then at the bottom here, I have one of those a draft stoppers that you just slide under the door. This actually does a pretty good job of sealing the door. Now, with the weather stripping, it makes the door really tight. So when I open this, it kind of pops open. I'm just gonna turn the, turn the door knob and you'll hear it pop open. So I have the stripping here, stripping here, and then for this side, the back edge of the door that closes against the side of the frame. I have the stripping on the side of the frame instead of the face. All right, and then also out here, I'll set a fan kind of angled downward pointing toward the bottom of the door. And I'll turn that fan on outside the room so you have air coming this way because with that draft stopper on the bottom, it's there's still some opening. So rather than letting the smoke escape that way, I use the fan outside to blow it back this way. And then also that little black space heater. There it is in relation to the door, that little black space heater to pull air across the room inward and also to generate heat because, <laughs> oh, sorry about that up where you go there the heating and air conditioning register i have taped off completely so that smoke doesn't get into the ductwork and travel throughout the house also i have the ceiling fan that i set on reverse so instead of blowing air downward it's drawing air upward i figure if the living room's below us and i don't want the smells and smoke to go down that way I want to draw the air upward and that and the, the things I've done so far has pretty much eliminated any smells or odors escaping this room. So the other thing I do is I'll open this window. This is the little fan I was talking about. I'll take this small fan. Pinch it in the window there turn it on high. That does a pretty good job of pulling out some of the smoke. But that big fan outside in the uh, hallway, it works better if you set it on this little bench here, open this window completely, and then turn that big fan on. And 98% of the smoke that I'm creating sitting in this chair goes right out that window. But with two fans, the little space heater going 
it's uh, it gets quite noisy. Not only that, but I have the Rabbit Air minus A2 air purifier. Right now it's on and running in auto mode, but the air is nice and clean, so it's on. It's running in silent. It has a uh, silent, low, medium, high, and turbo. When it gets good and smoky in here, it'll kick up the turbo, and this is what turbo sounds like. That's on turbo. I got a fan there. Sometimes I'll have a big fan blowing out here, and that's really loud by itself. And then I have this thing. So that's a lot of noise, and normally I'm... Normally I'm trying to watch TV in here. And with all this stuff going, it makes it makes for a lot of noise, and so I gotta turn that TV up pretty loud. But it works well for keeping the smoke and the smells in here, or at least blowing out the window, or getting eaten by the uh, air purifier. So that's what I've been doing for a while now. I finally got all my stuff. I got a boxes and boxes of stuff. Crazy fans, some duct work, and whatnot. And I'm going to put a proper ventilation system here in this room. I think it's gonna work really well. That was it. Sorry, I kind of kept rambling and saying the same stuff over and over. I just wanted to show you what I do right now if you're looking for something kind of in a pinch where you want to be able to smoke inside. So in the next video, I guess what I'll do is show you all the junk in the boxes I got that I'm gonna be using to put in the ventilation system. And then I will make a couple other videos showing you how I'm actually doing it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Click subscribe. Turn on the notifications for all. Until next time, y'all take it easy.